Sagutan natin itong problems. Multiply the following. Let's start with 1. X minus 2 quantity squared. Okay, so meron tayong square of a binomial. So actually, pwede natin tong gamitan ng FOIL method. So it can be written also as x minus 2 times x minus 2, right? Pero meron din tayong shortcut dito kasi isang type tayo ng special product. So gamitan na lang natin yung shortcut. Ang shortcut dito is square nyo yung first term sa so magiging x squared plus the product of the first term and the second term, so x times negative 2, then lalagyan nyo lagi ng times 2. Okay? Yung product ng first at second term para sa second term. Okay? Then, yung panghuling term is yung square ng second term na negative 2. So, yung square nyo. So, pag sinimplify, we have x squared. Then, 2 times x times negative 2. So, nag so magiging negative 4 x, right? Then, plus negative 2 squared, it's negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Next, for number 2, we have 2x plus 5y squared. Okay, square of a binomial ulit, yung shortcut. So, square natin yung first term. So, 2x quantity squared plus so, yung second term is product ng first at second. So, 2x times 5y, then laging may times 2, okay? Plus, yung square nung second, so 5y squared. Okay, so what is 2x squared? So, pwede nga distribute yung exponent, magiging 2 squared x squared. So, 2 squared, it's 4, right? So, we have 4x squared. Plus, then multiply natin. So, yung mga coefficients muna, multiply 2 times 2, it's 4 times 5, 20. Then, x times y, xy. Plus, so 5 by squared, so distribute yung exponent. So, magiging 5 squared, then y squared. So, 5 squared, it's the same as 25. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Next, number 3, we have negative 3x squared plus 2y cubed quantity squared. Okay, square of a binomial ulit. Square natin yung first term, negative 3x quantity squared plus product of the first and second term. So, negative 3x squared times 2y cubed. Then, laging may times 2. Okay? Plus, the square of the second term, 2y cubed quantity squared. So, magiging uh, negative 3x squared squared. Distribute yung exponent. It's the same as negative 3 squared. Then, x squared squared. So, what is negative 3 squared? It's positive 9, right? Okay? Tapos, x squared squared, power to a power law, Imamultiply yung exponent. So, x raised to 2 times 2 magiging x to the 4th. Okay? Then, dito multiply yung mga coefficients. So, 2 times negative 3, negative 6 times 2, negative 12. Then, x squared, y cubed. Okay? Then, dito rin, applying yung power of a product law, distribute the exponent. So, we have 2 squared, then y cubed squared. So, what is 2 squared? It's 4, right? Tapos yung y cube square power to a power law, multiply yung exponent, we have y raised to 3 times 2, y to the 6. So therefore, this is the final answer. Next for number 4, we have 7x to the 4th minus 5x squared quantity squared. Okay, applying square of a binomial, square yung first, so we have 7x to the 4th quantity squared plus the product of the first and the second, so 7x to the fourth times, so negative 5x squared, then may times 2 sa unahan. Then plus the square of the second, so negative 5x squared squared. So we have, okay, distribute yung exponent, 7 squared, x to the fourth squared. So 7 squared, it's 49 then, x to the 4th squared, so multiply the exponent, x raised to 4 times 2, x to the 8. Okay, then multiply natin to, so yung mga constant, 2 times 7, it's uh, 14, then times negative 5, it's negative 70. Right? Then, x to the 4 times x squared, so same base, copy the same exponent, then add the exponent 4 plus 2, it's... 6. So, x raised to the 6. 
Then plus, okay, so power of a product law ulit, distribute the exponent na negative 2. So we have negative 5 quantity squared, x squared squared. So what is negative 5 quantity squared? Magiging positive 25. And then x squared squared, so copy the same base x and then multiply the exponent 2 times 2, 4. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So try nga namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.